think of beauty that makes you feel like you finally entered the gates of paradise well there's a place in kenya that seems like paradise once you see it it literally takes your breath away it leaves you with that wow feeling clear blue waters cloudless sky and it's also surrounded by mighty hills that are covered by never-ending lush it's one of the least unexplored areas in kenya its blue waters lures you in for a quick relaxing swim but there is a danger it's one of the deepest crater lakes in kenya many have lost their lives trying to conquer the only native fish in this lake is Lake Chala Tilapia, which is found nowhere else in the world. It's considered critically endangered. It's hard for me to believe that it's just a two hour drive from my home. This is Lake Chala. <laughs> So what's going on guys, Victor Brani here from Wild Africa Adventures. As you can see we are inside, we are in the middle of Lake Chala. So this is a crater lake that has been around for millions of years. So we are quite enjoying the ride, so quite some clean water. I think uh, I didn't make a mistake coming here. These are the people that we are here with, so you can say hi guys. Today. Hi guys! Hi guys. Hi guys. Hi guys. This is what we call a dao or mtumbu in Swahili. Uh, this is actually made out of wood, carved wood. It takes uh, a lot of skill to craft out this so that you make the wood to bend like this. But uh, this is what helps you to navigate around Lake Chad. We are having a group of friends that we are out here with. They are actually swimming out there some are swimming some are taking boat rides so it's actually quite a fun place to be in so this is a, a lake that borders two countries it borders tanzania and it also borders uh, kenya 
So right now we are currently on the Kenyan side, but over on the other side there is the Tanzanian side. So it's actually sitting in the middle of the two countries. So in the previous video that we had, like GPA also sits in the middle of the two countries. And when we went out out there, we were in the center of the two countries. So it's actually quite deep. From the information that we're getting out from the local residents, they're telling us it's quite like over 100 meters deep. So it's quite a deep place. This place is so cool. You can enjoy, you can bring your family here. The place is nice, the weather is cool, and the water is clean. 